Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the uh, July 28th month end audit meeting for the, for the town of Moreau. Um, we have, we will be canceling the regular town board meeting at the end of this, uh, but we'll, we'll discuss a few items before the end of that. Um, and we will now start with the audit portion of this meeting. Um, there is one discussion item. If you want to find it here, the discussion item we have is the emergency repair of the Farnham Road sewer station pump. Um, and that is going to be on the amount of $5,278. Uh, this was an emergency repair. Uh, we always have two, one pump working, one on the shelf. Uh, when the pump, when they looked at the pump that uh, needed to be repaired, they found there was uh, some damage to it. So as a result, the emergency repair was $5,278. Um, this is up for discussion because it's more than $1,000. This $5,278 would come out of account GI 8110.4. Can we have a motion to pay to uh, the pump service and supply of Troy the $5,278 from GI 8110.4? Or discussion. Motion. A motion to approve payment. Discussion. I'm thinking, you know, in my mind, this was uh, this is this was a pump that was in service. It failed. Uh, they put the other pump into service. They got this one repaired, but for the replacement cost of this pump was, I think, almost four times that amount. Right. And. It just makes sense that if we can, if we got, if we can save money by doing a repair such as this, we should do it. And that's what happened. And my thought is, let's pay it and move on. Sounds good to me. All right, we have a motion. I have a second. Second. All in favor? Yes. All right. Motion passes. Okay, that was the only discussion item for this evening. Um, let's now. I'd like to uh, read the uh, transfer funds. Uh, let's see. Resolution to transfer. Following resolutions were made on July. Let's. Well, I read them first, right, and then I will we'll do the transfer. Okay. So it looks like we would like sixty thousand dollars transferred from account A one three five five point four zero two which is General Assessor Special Services and $60,000 to be transferred from A1355.401, General Assessor Legal Services. Uh, but we, this is in order to transfer funds for the payment of GAR services for the remainder of 2020. Motion to approve transfer. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see another transfer here. Uh, this is going to be a uh, transfer of funds for the payment of general town building expenses. Um, we'd like to transfer $2,682.88. Uh, we would like, I'm sorry. $2,682.88 be transferred to account A1620.4, which is General Buildings Contractual, and $2,682.88 be transferred from A1620.402, General Buildings Annex. And uh, these, again, are to transfer funds for the payment of general town building expenses. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All right. I hereby certify that the above resolutions were made and passed by the Town Board of the Town of Moreau at a meeting held on July 28, 2020, that the same will be made part of the official Town Clerk's Minutes of said meeting. Okay. Uh, a couple other items we should, we're going to discuss tonight. Um, I have a national grid. Uh, Let's see, I've got a topic on the national grid here. As you know, 
we have hired National Grid to uh, work on a gas line in front of the highway department and um, with a note from the our town engineer, um, I'd just like to read it real quick. Um, we're going to request, um, we're gonna increase the amount of money we're gonna to pay to National Grid because they can do more work for us um, for a better rate and the liability is better for, the, for, for us at this point. Uh, Dear Supervisor Kuznir, as you're aware, National Grid provided the town with two proposals. One proposal included having National Grid complete all excavation, pipe installation, backfill, and restoration. The other proposal included having the town complete the excavation and resolution for the total credit of about $1,600. We recommend that the town accept the National Grid proposal that includes all work required without having the town participate in construction. We understand that highway superintendent estimates that the actual cost for the highway department to complete excavation, backfill and restoration will exceed $3,500. Furthermore, having National Grid complete all work clarifies responsibilities and avoids potential conflicts in the event of a problem arising during construction. So with that note from our um, town engineering group, um, I would like to revise the previous resolution that says, let me find it here. Previous resolution says, um, so resolution number 2021-79, motion was made by council member Hogan and seconded by council member Noonan and Kerry, authorized the expenditure of an amount not to exceed $7,500 for the replacement of the existing gas service gas service line into the new highway garage with a two inch plastic service and a customer dug trench per quote WR 29155019 from National Grid. Um, and the response is we were all, in, the whole board was all in favor. Um, so what we would like to do would be to revise that resolution to Date. Um, so the June 9th, we'd like to revise the resolution from June 9th, resolution 2020-179 to state, um, let's see, well, to authorize an expenditure in amount not to exceed $9,334.23 for the replacement of the existing gas service line into the new highway garage with a two inch plastic service and a customer dug trench Per quote WR 29155019 from National Grid. And again, this is per um, engineer Don Rhodes' recommendation for the trench work. So essentially. I will move that, but I want clarification on this. Yes. That, uh, in this, what we're changing is that National Grid is going to dig the, dig the trench because their cost of digging the trench is $1,600. And Paul Joseph has estimated $3,500 if the cost of it, if the town were to dig it. Okay, so you're wondering if National Grid's gonna also dig it? No, they are gonna dig They're it. They're gonna dig and it. That's why we're change, making this change. Right, correct. Yeah. Oh, looking for just stating some clarification. Right. Okay. Is your resolution said customer dug trench and it's not? Right, per, oh, in a customer dug trench, right. So, let me, let me revise that again. Okay. So we're looking for a motion um, to change resolution 2020179 to state, uh, well, to authorize the expenditure of an amount not to exceed $9,334.23 for the replacement of existing gas line service into the new highway garage with a two inch plastic service where National, National Grid will dig the trench per quote WR 29155019 from National Grid. Correct. Okay. Sorry. So moved. Second. Any more discussion on that? That's it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Okay. Sorry. All right, good. Um, all right, the next order of quick business here. 
So tonight, let's see, so we're going to hear from council member Claire. Tonight we are also going to hire three laborers for the recreation department. Um, Mr. Olszewski um, has worked so hard to get the park back up to running, uh, getting our fields uh, filled to capacity where we are within the state guidelines and his manpower uh, and labor. Uh, he needs some assistance, so he's looking to hire some employees. We are gonna hire four, but it's growing to move on three this evening. Um, has everyone had a chance to look at the resume or the uh, applications of the employees that we're going to hire? Yes. Two of the employees, two of these uh, hires this evening will be rehires, and one of them would be a new hire. All right, so I do have a resolution to hire and rehire employees, and I, let me read it at this point in time. So it be resolved that the following people be rehired as full-time seasonal employees for the Town of Monroe Recreation Department. Christopher Rich at a rate of pay of $13.11 per hour, and Thomas Linehan at a rate of pay of $12.61 per hour. So it further be resolved that the following person will be hired as a full-time seasonal employee for the Town of Moreau Recreation Department effective immediately and subject to the successful completion of a background check and pre-employment physical within a two week period. And that would be uh, John Millington at a rate of $12 per hour. So moved. Second. Any discussion? I'm familiar with all three. I think they'll be a good fit, and uh, I'm hoping that they'll work out. Great. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Yes. Aye. Great. Moved. All right. Um, all right. Next order of, again, quick business here. Uh, we have a request from Highway Superintendent Mr. Paul Joseph to, uh, let's see, uh, he would like to set aside $107,200.16 to be allocated for the paving of town roads in 2020. Uh, this money would come from the uh, uh, apportionment from the New York State DOT CHIPS funding for this fiscal year. Uh, we typically have more money um, allotted for that. However, uh, we are also, we are allotting $100,000 of a, out of a total of $207,200.16 to go towards the newly constructed uh, highway garage roof repair. Or, the garage is newly constructed, but the roof repair is new. Um, so we have a resolution here to um, set aside that money for the highway department, and I'll read it here. So it'll be resolved that $100,000 of the New York State Department of Transportation CHIPS funding apportionment for the town be allocated to repair the highway garage roof, and so it'll be further resolved that the remaining amount of CHIPS funding, which the highway superintendent believes to be $107,200.16, be allocated to paving town roads in 2020. Discussion. How about we move this? Okay. Looking for a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion. Uh, at 107,000, I'm hoping he can get done when he needs to get done. He does have a um, list of roads, let's see here, that he's hoping to uh, work on Sisson Roads, parts of, parts of Sisson Road, Old Saratoga Road, Selford Road, Beachwood Drive, Oakwood Drive, Hilton Drive, Lincoln Avenue, Pine Road, Greenway Road, and some townwide shimming of uh, areas he sees fit to do so. So hopefully he can get a lot done with the 107,000. Now there is a chance there could be more available, but I think we're working with safe numbers considering that we have to accommodate possibly for a 20% decrease um, at, that, at this point in time. 
So we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Yes. All right. Um, it passes. Um, Council Member LeClaire just texted and said that she could take a phone call real quick. Is that something that we want to go back to at the moment? Or that's a job I have to get. I want to just take care of it real quick. Is that yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just take care of this. Um, all right, so we'll, we'll amend. Hello, Council Member LeClaire. So you are on speakerphone and we are on a uh, Zoom meeting at the moment. So uh, this will be quick and thank you for being available to call in. Um, Sorry, I couldn't make it and I, I, it's just happened and I couldn't do anything. Understandable. So what we've done, we've already passed a resolution to hire Christopher Rich, Thomas Linehan, and John Millington. Um, and we ultimately would need um, a quorum to do to uh, hire another employee, Miles Hogan. Um, Council Member Hogan is going to abstain from that, so we would need uh, three votes, uh, approval votes, to pass to, to move that motion. So, what I'd like to do um, do, I, do I have to go back and redo the motion? I can just okay. So, what I'd like to do at this, at this current time. Um, is read this and then we'll have a, uh, we'll have we'll take a, a vote on it. Uh, so it'll be re so it'll be resolved that the following person be hired as a full time seasonal employee for the town of Moreau Recreation Department, effective immediately and subject to the successful completion of a background check and pre employment physical within a two week period. And then uh, the hired employee would be Miles Hogan. Uh, all in favor? Or, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, motion to uh, hire Miles Hogan. And, I made a motion. And a second. You, uh, Gina, that would have to be second. you. Okay. Um, and all in favor? Aye. Aye. And um, it's being noted that Council Member Hogan is abstaining from that vote. Thank you. Okay. We're all set, Council Member LeClaire. Thank you, Carl. All right. Uh, thank you, and um, we'll we'll talk after uh, to fill you in if we uh, need to do that. Great. All right. Thank, thank you. you Have a good evening. You too. Thank okay. you. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Well, good. We got it all. We got it all covered. Okay. Here we go. All right. Um, another thing. That, another quick. Another item we want to bring up for again short discussion. Uh, Town Clerk, Ms. McCabe has uh, made the Supervisor's Office and the Board aware that there is, uh, it's problematic to uh, transcribe meeting minutes in a short enough timely, uh, short enough time. And I just want to read kind of what this is, what has come our way. Um, at the present, staff is working on producing the transcribed minutes of the Town Board meetings. Um, the girls are able to work on them during office hours because this time of year is a bit slower than other times. Come September, we'll be right out straight collecting school taxes and water billings, and there will not be any time to work on the minutes during the day. And here's the question. Does the town board want to give comp time or pay overtime for this work uh, to be done at home, or should, or could we look into an option of a, a more expansive Zoom contract which will allow Zoom to transcribe the minutes for us. Or, if none of the above is of the interest of the board, the minutes will have to wait until November to be transcribed. Um, count, uh, supervisor looked into it, the supervisor's office looked into it, and he found that based on a, um, well, this was presented on March 30th, 2020, and it is a, New York State Open Meetings Law packet in, in one of the slides it says here that um, what's open EO okay. EO so executive order 202.1 suspends certain aspects of the open meetings law but also establishes new requirements for the duration of the order. Uh, they must allow for contemporaneous remote access to the public 
public bodies must record and later transcribe their meetings. Transcription does not have to be performed by a stenographer or a professional service. Transcription can be performed by an employee or electronically by the remote access service and no time limit for preparing the transcript uh, has been indicated. So considering that there was no time limit to be uh, for the transcription, um, I am okay with allowing the meetings to be transcribed later as opposed to paying additional uh, monies. But I don't know. What no, I understand. But I, uh, I'm thinking along the same line. Okay. I agree too because the, the, the public, if they want access to it, can get access to the, to the audio. Right. On, on, the, on the website. So it is like they don't have any access if they want it. If they want to know what they're going to do. Yeah, I, I agree. I think when you get to them, you get to them. And I know that job, I was Secretary Treasurer for a reunion. And I used that to transcribe. I hate it. It took every month sitting down and get that stuff because it's, 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 it's tough. It's not easy. It's not a quick. It's not a quick job, I don't know. And I would say what we can do as board members is um, we need to speak clearer, louder, and- uh, I'll try that. I am guilty, guilty of not of mumbling, okay? Yeah. So, and I can imagine the stopping and rewinding and going back and what did he say and who said it? So, so I think as we move forward, uh, we have to be aware of maybe what our clarity sounds like to folks that are trying to write down what we say. I understand. <laughs> All right. It's the first time in my life I've been told to speak up. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, right. Um, don't have any additional uh, items to discuss here. I would like to make a note real quick. Um, if anybody was driving down uh, on Route 197 or Route 32, you would have noticed today that, uh, let's see, that. DOT has finally started to address the drainage issue um, that may or may not have been affecting some of the neighborhoods um, over on Amy Drive and Gray Fox Drive in that neighborhood over there. Um, I would say for a couple of years now, supervisor has been working uh, with the state on it, and I know the board has also kind of picked up to work alongside the supervisor on making this come to uh, fruition, and I feel as if in the last year, and we we were uh, at the limits of I think timing and equipment. Uh, they got I think they came up 32 to a certain point and then stopped, and the machine broke, and then the season ended, and and then that went away. And I think this year everything kind of fell in the sweet spot, and we've been on their list for a while, and they were finally able to get out there today with you know I think some of the neighbors have been active, right, and calling in and trying to, to get some stuff moving there. I mean, there's only so much that we can do on our end and the, the county can do uh, to address that, but I know as a board and supervisor himself has also been working with everybody involved to uh, try and get a resolution to some of the water issues over in those neighborhoods there. Um, any, any other comments on anything going? I know Mr. Hogan mentioned today he saw uh, traffic indicator, uh, traffic indication, car counting stuff down on Old West Road. Yeah, so there's, oh good, good, I was wondering if So he saw the, they were coming, but they, when they got around to it, that's good that they got it down. Yeah, so it's, it was, it was there last week. Great, all right. Okay. That's good news. Um, so I don't really, there's nothing else really on the list that we need to discuss for the evening. Um, Without anything else on the list, I would actually like a a motion to do we need a motion or resolution to cancel them. Like a, a motion to we have a motion to adjourn from the well. We need a motion to cancel the uh, regular scheduled town board meeting. So, I'm looking for a motion to cancel the regular scheduled town board meeting. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Okay, and. Uh, a motion to adjourn. Yeah, we need to the payment that was All right. So, um, right. So, I'd like to make a motion to uh, pay the bills as audited. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Okay. Make a motion to adjourn. 
So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, yes. Meeting adjourned. Okay,